Hello, my name is Seolito Rodriguez and this is my presentation for MGT 575 Total Quality Management. This uh, presentation is titled The Total Quality Approach to Quality Management Achieving Organizational Excellence. The goal of this presentation is uh, to have a general idea about uh, total quality management. Uh, in doing so, here is the agenda. What is quality? The total quality approach defined. Two views of quality. Total quality pioneers and keys to total quality success. What is quality? Uh, defining quality can be tricky. Uh, so I chose the definition from uh, the book of uh, Davy L. Goish, Organizational Excellence, Introduction to Total Quality. And the definition goes like this. Quality is a dynamic state associated with products, services, people, processes, and environments that meets or exceeds expectations and helps produce superior value. Uh, the reason I chose uh, this definition is because it, in my mind it has all the components that actually um, addresses quality. Uh, and the first thing is that quality is a dynamic state. What does that mean? Well, it basically means that uh, quality can change. Quality is not static. What may be of good, of good quality today may not be tomorrow. And, and, and as an example, uh, when the iPhone first came out, in no, in everybody's mind, you know, it was the best phone ever. There was no competition. Um, but now, if you look uh, at, at, at the market, there are other companies, for example, Samsung Galaxy. I mean, some people uh, uh, swear that the Galaxy is way better than the iPhone. And, and there are even other companies that are producing high quality. That's just a simple example to uh, explain this dynamic uh, state of, of, of quality. Now, obviously, uh, we're talking about uh, products and services. So it has to do with that, but at the same time, uh, uh, the people, the people that make those products and, and, and services, the company, the employee, the processes and procedures that they use to do that, and, and obviously uh, the environment. Um, a lot of uh, companies nowadays that are uh, that kind of base their management on total quality, they have to be uh, very aware of the environment problems and, and um, safety concerns and, and, and those kind of things. So again, quality also address that. And of course, you know, for a product or a service to have quality, you have to exceed the expectations of the customer. So we live in an area in which basically the customer define quality, not the company. Um, and um, uh, in, in a nutshell, any products or service that you produce have to produce superior value to the customer. So I think that this is a very complete definition of what quality is. In the same manner that we define quality, we also have to uh, define the total quality approach. And, um, and I think that one of the easiest way to define the quality, uh, quality approach is uh, using this um, three-leg stool uh, where basically the center of everything is the customer. So the focus of everything that a company does has to be uh, the customer. And uh, in doing so, there are three components, measures, peoples, and processors. Um, first of all, things have to be able to be measured. So, um, you know, statistical processes control must be used, benchmarking must be used, quality tools must be used in any company that uh, it's based on the quality, um, total quality approach. Uh, the people, uh, 
the quality is built in. Quality is expected, not inspected. Uh, employees are empowered. So employees empowerment is a key element of uh, the total uh, quality approach and obviously the processes uh, there has to be continual improvement and um, uh, the the uh, good enough is never good enough it, it's it's a good saying uh, basically uh, saying that you know quality is, is dynamic and um, uh, there always have to be continual improvement trying to uh, make the product better um, because again, this is not a static concept, and uh, as I mentioned in the uh, slide uh, before, uh, what may be of good quality today may not be tomorrow. Two views of quality. A traditional view of quality versus the total quality approach. Uh, in the traditional view, is the productivity and quality are always in conflict and uh, that you can have both. Well, the, the total quality view is the, uh, basically said that lasting productivity gains are, are made only as a result of quality improvements. Um, there is also a difference in, in how quality is defined. Uh, the traditional view is that quality is defined solely as a meaning customer's expectation. The total quality view is that quality means that is fine customer needs and, and exceeding customer's expectation. And again, so we go on and, on and we see all of these uh, uh, topics are very different the way that the customers um, the definition of these different elements in the views of quality. Now, one of the things that, that really, uh, that I like out of all, all this is the responsibility for quality. Uh, the traditional view is that employees are blamed for poor quality, where in the total quality view is that at least 85% of quality problems are management's fault. So in, in this, uh, of views of quality, there is a lot of responsibility that actually goes into the management aspect. Now, in the same token, what that means is that employees are expected to do a lot more nowadays than what they were expected to do in the past. So, um, I guess that one thing balances the other. But anyway, the key point over here is that uh, there are uh, very significant differences between the traditional view of quality and the total quality approach. Key elements of total quality. Um, these are basically the uh, key elements of total quality. They are uh, strategically based, they are customer focus, obsession with quality, scientific approach, and long-term commitment. Um, strategically based uh, basically mean that organizations have a comprehensive strategic plan that contains at least, uh, you know, uh, the following elements. Those are the vision, mission, uh, broad uh, objectives, and activities that must be completed to accomplish the uh, the broad objective. So, uh, a strategical based basically means that there has to be uh, a very careful plan in order to uh, achieve these goals. Uh, customer focus. Um, it, it's very clear. It's basically mean that the customer is the driver. The customer is the center of everything that uh, the company does. Uh, obsession with quality in total quality organizations, uh, basically internal and external customers define quality. Uh, and, and that's a very uh, important uh, component uh, over there. And, uh, and then we have the scientific approach. Well, in total quality, uh, detractors put off by such concept as employee empowerment, sometimes view of total quality as nothing more than another name for soft management or, or, or people management. Well, that, that's not true. Um, so scientific base basically means that um, uh, things are done based on, on, on evidence, on, on facts. 
uh, it means that uh, hard data are used in establishing benchmarks, uh, monitoring performance, and making improvements. And a long-term commitment basically means that uh, organizations that implement organi uh, management innovations uh, uh, after attending short-term seminars often fail in their initial attempt to adopt the total quality approach. So the traditional view is a basically managing by accounting in, in which everything is based on the short term. Uh, the budget. So usually you get pushed uh, uh, back from uh, accounting by anything you want to do because you, the company won't meet the budget. Well, in, in the, one of the key elements of total quality is that everything is based on a long-term commitment and uh, a company look at the, should look at the big picture and not just uh, the next quarter. Total quality pioneers. Uh, many uh, people have contributed to this uh, total quality approach, but three of the most important pioneers are uh, W. Edwards Deming, Joseph M. Duran, and Philip B. Crosby. Uh, Deming is best known for uh, the Deming cycle, uh, Deming's 14 uh, points and Deming Seven Deadly Diseases. Uh, Joseph M. Duran is best known for Duran's uh, Three Basic Steps to Progress, uh, the Duran's Ten uh, Steps to Quality Improvement, the Pareto Principle, and the Duran Trilogy. And uh, Philip B. Crosby is best known for uh, Advocacy of Zero Defects Management, quality vaccine and, and Crosby's 14 steps to quality improvement. Keys to total quality success. Organizations that succeed never approach total quality as just another management innovation or even worse as a, as a quick fix. Uh, total quality uh, management takes time. Uh, it has to be approached as basically a new way of doing business. Um, and um, there are a number of, of mistakes that companies have to, uh, to avoid in order to succeed in total quality uh, management. Now, some of the uh, mistakes the company has to avoid is the uh, senior management delegation and poor leadership. So, senior management has to be responsible for total quality. This cannot be delegated. And again, uh, uh, great leadership is a must in order for total quality to succeed. Uh, team mania. Uh, in a total quality company, you should never speak of day, but it's we. It's everybody has to be involved. Uh, deployment process. Some organizations develop quality initiative without concurrently developing plans uh, for integrating them into all elements of the organization. That has to be stopped. That's the way that it's done in the traditional, uh, in the traditional way. Um, taking a narrow dogmatic approach is another mistake that has to be um, avoided. Uh, total quality, it's a has to be it's a broad approach you have to look at the big picture and it is based on a long-term commitment and um, another key uh, point that has to uh, be avoided is the confusion about the differences among education awareness uh, inspiration and skill building so education skill building inspiration those are key elements that must be uh, defined and implemented carefully. Alright, so we have come to the end of the presentation. Uh, so what was covered? Well, we talked about the definition of the quality and how quality is basically defined by the customer. We also talked about uh, the definition of the quality approach. Um, we talked about two different views of quality, which is the traditional view of quality versus the uh, quality in the total quality uh, model. 
Uh, we talked about uh, pioneers, three important pioneers of, of total quality. Talked about uh, Crosby, uh, Deming, and, and, and Joseph M. Duran, and how they contributed to quality. We also talked about keys uh, to total quality success, and uh, we also talked about some of the mistakes the senior management must avoid in order to succeed in, in total quality.